RSR family, what is up? Happy Saturday. I hope all of you guys are having an awesome day. We finally got a nice day here in Oklahoma, hence why I'm going with the sleeveless shirt today. It's been a wild weather week for us. We've had some tornadoes, some hail, some rain, you know, just typical temperamental Oklahoma weather. <laughs> but we are ready to kick back and listen to some great music. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. You are here every single day with your boy Jay. And your girl Amber. And you guys have a new band for us to check out today. So they're called the Climax Blues Band. And the title is I Love You. You guys mentioned that this was a band from Britain. So I'm excited to be checking out another one. And hence by the name Horn. Climax Blues Band. I hope we get some really bluesy tunes I know. Tunes that's in what there. I'm expecting. But before we get started, there's a couple things we ask y'all to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification bell. You'll get notification every time we post a video. And then we never miss out and listen to some really good tunes together. Enough talking. Let's check out some Climax Blues Band. I love you. Let's get it. Definitely digging, and, and you know, it's not too many times we see the piano player be the lead singer in the group. You know, we've talked about that a couple times, but you know, coming from the name Climax Blues Band, I was expecting some really bluesiness. No, they may have some other music that's bluesiness, may right. be one, one of their it's love songs, but one. how sweet of a song it's is this? Beautiful, and I like it because it's also. And this one it falls in line like with that softer rockin' tone, you it know does. what I mean? Like that guitar solo was beautiful. I love the tone and which it was played. I think it's so sweet. Well when you got you got a song like this and kind of the tone of it, like you bring in a, like like that weary kind of sound yeah, on, on that guitar solo. Yeah, it screams I love you from yes. the guitar and you know, we notice this often I feel like for our generation coming back and listening to the music from the past. But in this one, it's like incredibly noticeable. We're watching this live, but did, would you not mistake in this? Like this could sound like, like a studio. Absolutely. Yeah, from the studio. Everything sounds so good. The, the vocals are astounding. They're stunning. They're smooth. They're clear. Nothing is muddled. And it's all them. There's nothing behind it helping them. This is all them sounding this naturally beautiful on stage and it shouldn't amaze me anymore from the music we've done and learned from you guys from but sometimes we get songs like this and you're like wow right yeah no doubt about it also like today's artists we know their studio different and then different. if you were to hear them live obviously gonna sound different. so so <laughs> much different yeah and like you said these guys here it, this literally sounds like they're in a studio so much talent I 
A lot of times, like, you know, like, slower songs like that, especially, like, love songs, you know, uh, it's, I feel like it's kind of hit or miss. I, I really enjoyed that one. I liked that one so there. much. It was so sweet, because also he's saying, you know, I was at this certain point in my life, and then yes. you came in, and you helped me straighten mm -hmm. it out, and mm -hmm. now I'm here at this point because of your love. I thought that was super sweet. Yeah, I mean, he pretty much said, you know, you, you, you picked me up off yeah. the ground. You know, you, you, and he said, you put the smile on my he face. He said, there's not a man luckier than me. You know, and then cause he was talking about, he was down, I needed you. Yeah. So it was a really, really, and then, then he goes in the part, you know, now I love you. So it was, it was a really, it was a sweet story throughout. Right, and sometimes when I hear songs like this, I always wonder, who was this originally written for? Like, the, when the songwriter was writing it, perhaps it was someone in the band, we don't know enough about them, or a songwriter, when they were writing it, who were they writing right. it for? Right. Because they had to. The the, the, the lyrics in the song were so beautiful and so well thought out and then so well executed there on stage. It was just really, really good. See, and that's one thing I always wonder about, like when it comes with the writers. Like, like how do they write for somebody else? I, I feel like that would be so tough because when it comes to writing, I feel like, you know, that's, that's kind of how you feel. But you know what? I love writing. I love poetry because it's another poet writing this. But then when I read it, it's something that I feel so strongly about. So then, you know, it could be the same with songwriting. Like, they might write a song and right. then it could... Like Elton John, you right. know, some of the songwriting that I, I went mean, along I mean, with his that life. One, that one right there is special because I was just about to say... Yeah. And then it goes to the artist. How does the artist make the emotion that the writer had... You have to feel it. You writing. have it, to feel it in it's some such, sense. It's yeah. such a cool kind of yeah. you know, little merge yeah. they have there. But guys, thank y'all so much for that suggestion as we always send you out of here. We love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember every day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed to see another day. And for your new family members, they hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome y'all to the RSR family. But y'all have a goal just like we do. Let them know, Mom. All you gotta do is make somebody smile, y'all. We love y'all. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.